this is a quick demo of how the scheduler works. You can click over here on the project screen, so click manage and then projects. And here you see I have a demonstration production overview. On this one, I can edit the name of it, come over here, add employees, post a note, companies that might be on my production overview at the moment. And I have a new order down here as well as what I have standard in production. And here you see I have four of the seven hours scheduled right now. Let's click into this one. Here you see my production overview and I can just schedule all if I had multiple but right now we only have this one. And we have this color set up here. So and this allows you to quickly view what the schedule would look like. Let's actually go take a look at the schedule. So this is how the schedule looks. It's a very simple, clean schedule. I have my all my work centers here, my CNC, shipping, CSR. I have to unlock it. And then I can reorder my, so I got three jobs here. This one order, the order production, or production job, has two work orders in it, whereas this new order that I'm working on now just has the job demo review. So I can go ahead and reposition those if I wanted to. So let's say I want to move that one right up to the front. It'll go through and reschedule, and this is scheduling to actual employees. So you see it moved that to the front. So now if an employee is logged in via the time clock piece, they would see this on their time clock to punch in to tell them what they need to work on next. And I'm able to do that all along the way if I wanted to. And these are on a per job base. And color, you can see again, I have two different orders. And I can go ahead and change the color so that way I'm seeing it on a per jo work jo job or uh, work order as opposed to an order level. So here you see three different colors because one of my orders has two work orders in it. And I can toggle between that. I can get custom ranges in here, revert schedule if I go and really mess up my production. When we come back over here, clicking on the details, my production date, I can give it a flex or a firm production date. I can choose the color for this particular work order. So here's my order level color and here's my work order color. The status of this one, the name of it. Here's where you saw a new order on there. I can say demo order with demo review down there. 300 units. And as we click over here, I can adjust the pieces per hour. So on here you see this is a 300 unit job. If I said we can do 300 in the bill of material prep, it changes that to 300 and goes ahead and reschedules that for me. And all the way down, as I change the numbers, so let's say shipping, we can do 600 an hour, drop that down, and then gives me labor cost estimates depending upon what I have configured for my department estimated cost. So I can see labor, this should cost me about $187.50 based on the estimates. Um, I could have a bill of material that was generated off of this, uh, auto schedule it. And I have a nice clean screen that I'm able to see what's going on.